Hi and welcome to Seed to Life. After a long time I am bringing this new plant to you. My backyard was getting a makeover which is almost complete now. I am hoping to show you my new garden in the next video. In this video we are going to explore one more interesting plant which is actually a weed. But as you might know that many weeds are edible and have nutritional values. So let's check out this plant. This is called yellow dog or curly dog. The botanical name of this plant is Rumex crispus. There are several other regional names but for this video we will call it yellow dog. There are many varieties of Rumex plants and all are considered weeds. In fact it's a noxious or injurious weed. They are poisonous to chickens and cows also avoid eating them. So if you have this plant growing in your backyard take care of your pets because it can cause adverse reactions. In UK, according to Weed Act 1959, a person may face notice for failure to take preventive action for its spread. There is a variety of Ramex plants that is found in India known as Ramex versicarius. It is known as Indian sorrel or Ambat chuka. I find these plants very similar to chicory and the common dandelion. Now even though this plant is a weed, the leaves, seeds and roots all are edible in small quantities and have medicinal values. The leaves need to be cooked properly to remove any anti-nutritional factors like oxalic acids. As you can see the plant is not very pleasing to eyes but the young plants give out beautiful elongated leaves with a curly border. As the plant matures the leaves turn slightly pinkish and slender. The stems also have pink or purple discoloration on them. The fresh leaves can be added to salads or stir fry. The leaves are cooked or blanched to remove oxalates that can make yellow dog inedible. The seeds can be used in baking to give crunchiness to the crackers or cookies. The root is believed to have medicinal values. As a herbal medicine, extracts from these plants are used to treat jaundice, skin diseases, bacterial and fungal infections and sore throat. The plant is a good source of fibers and has a laxative effect. Yellow dock is believed to improve iron absorption and hence it is used to treat anemia. This plant grows in almost all continents and used in various herbal remedies worldwide for centuries or possibly for thousands of years. So like I always mention while discussing the herbal remedies, anything in excess is poisonous. Yellow dock should be eaten in moderation to avoid any toxicity. Also, people with kidney problems should avoid consuming dog plants as high oxalic acid content of this plant can irritate the urinary tract and cause kidney stones. This is true for many green vegetables. Unlike synthetically made medicines, it is hard to pick only good parts from the herbal medicines and that is the reason they also can cause negative reactions. Also, depending on where the plant is grown, the nutrient composition varies. So plants grown in the polluted areas can cause more harm than good as food or a medicine. Coming on to the growing part. Last spring, I started my plants in starter pots and then I moved the young seedlings to a big container. Growing from seeds is the only way to grow Ramex plants. I remember the seller clearly emphasized the weedy nature of this plant on the seed packet so I wanted to keep them contained. As it is I have several vegetables and flowers that grow wild in my backyard and take over the plants that can't compete with them. Seeds germinate quickly within a week. Yellow dock is pretty hardy and tolerates both cold and hot temperatures well. They are perennials and can survive for several years because of their hardiness. Though these plants sustain even during freeze, they grow healthy broad leaves at temperatures between 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit or around 26 degrees Celsius. During winter, the growth slows down considerably. The leaves turn slightly reddish in color and smaller. Yellow dog plants can tolerate periods of week-long freeze and as the temperatures start rising in spring, they come back to life again. The plant is an erect herb and it can grow up to 5 feet. The leaves are elongated, rosette shaped with a curly or wavy outline. The leaves are alternate. They are about 3 to 12 inches long. From the center of the leaves arrangement grows an erect stem. As spring starts, the flower stalk starts rising up holding clusters of tiny flowers. There are no separate male and female plants or flowers. 
both bisexual and female flowers develop on the same plants. Seeds are small triangular achenes, that is, they are simple types of fruits where the fruits do not open to release seeds. Each of these tiny fruit is like an individually wrapped seed. You can see here each of these plants have hundreds of seeds developing on them. And this overwhelming number of seeds is responsible for invasive nature of these plants. Dog plants have tap roots that grow deep into the soil. As the plants mature, the roots grow thicker. Yellow dog attracts a variety of insects and pests. You can see since it has started raining, my plants, especially the blooms, are covered with aphids. Even the leaves have a fungal disease. I am not going to take out these plants to avoid spreading the seeds to neighboring area. I was growing these plants only out of curiosity and for the purpose of this video. I hope you liked the video. A big thanks for watching my videos. Subscribe and click the bell icon to stay connected. Social media links are posted in the description box. Feel free to reach out to me with your comments, suggestions and don't forget to share my videos if you like them. Thank you again. See you soon.